The Silicon Valley bank collapse is having an impact on residents of California's Bay Area and Central Valley and sparking a new debate among federal lawmakers with experience in the business and banking sectors. And joining me now is California Congressman and former venture capitalist Josh Harder. Uh, Congressman, thank you very much. And just uh, to explain to our viewers, you worked with SVP before running for Congress as part of your work in venture capital. So what is your reaction to everything that's happened in recent days? I think we're at a real inflection point for regional banks, arguably more important than what we saw in the financial crisis or the savings and loan crisis in the 1980s. Silicon Valley Bank saw $42 billion of withdrawals in a single day. That's not, it's a wonderful life. In the digital era, confidence can disappear faster than a Snapchat message. And so it's very clear that we're going to need more regulation, more scrutiny to protect other banks and especially the regional banks going forward. What do you see as the impact on the tech sector since they finance so many startups? I don't want to be in a nation where three or four very large banks based in New York City dominate financial services all across the country. Regional banks play an incredibly important role. They understand local conditions better than anyone. They foster innovation. If you look at Silicon Valley Bank's customers, they were working to cure cancer, working to build semiconductor chips to enhance our, our national security. And so I think what we've been able to do with these emergency measures is protect uh, a domino effect from affecting other folks across Northern California and other regional banks across the country. But even as we ensure that there's more regulation and stability in this sector, I still wanna make sure that there's a vibrant role uh, for small and mid-sized banks across the nation. Should the, Dow, uh, the, um, the Dobbs-Frank law have been rolled back though uh, in favor of these regional banks as it was? Absolutely not. I think we've seen the mistakes of that. I opposed uh, that effort in, in, in 2018. And we're going to need to do a couple things. First, these emergency measures have been successful, at least so far. But there's going to need to be a full investigation, both of what bank management did. Uh, they paid themselves millions of dollars in bonuses even hours before this bank collapsed. I'm looking to hopefully claw back uh, some of that money, or at least all of it, and trying to make sure that it goes towards people that need it. We also need more scrutiny on regulators. Uh, these banks still should have been uh, more heavily regulated than they were, but I think regulators were asleep at the wheel uh, and not anticipating this crisis before it happened. And so we're going to need to make sure that there's higher insurance guarantees, that banks have more skin in the game and are paying uh, larger insurance fees, and that we're going to need stronger regulation for the entire mid-sized regional banking industry. And regarding Dodd-Frank and these other regulations, uh, just how frustrated are your constituents that these leaders of SVB and maybe other banks were permitted to make these risky bets on long-term bonds and then take those bonuses, which you said should be People now are very frustrated. Back. Yeah. yeah, I think when people hear about a name like Silicon Valley Bank, they're thinking this is, you know, Mark Zuckerberg or, or Elon Musk. The folks who were affected by this are farm workers in the winemaking and agricultural parts of my district. It's, you know, workers and, and, and frontline companies who weren't sure if they were going to get paid this week and able to, to make rent. So there was an enormous amount of uncertainty. Thanks to the measures that regulators put in place this weekend, uh, those folks are going to be able to make payroll this, this week. Uh, those folks are going to be able to make sure that their bills get paid. But it's frustrating to see the corruption and the selfishness from bank management who put their own selfish interests ahead uh, of workers who, you know, were in real uncertainty and danger. And some Republicans are calling this woke banking because the bank was prioritizing, you know, things like climate and diversity and took their focus off of the business itself. Uh, it just seems... I don't know. What do you think about applying the term woke now to just about everything? <laughs> I don't think anybody would, would call this uh, woke banking if they actually talked to the folks making the decisions. If anything, it was the same old selfishness we've seen uh, in the banking industry that goes without enough regulatory scrutiny uh, that's happened for, for, for centuries. And I think some Republicans want to avert blame from the bill that passed in the Trump administration to roll back 
uh, some of the bank regulations which could have saved Silicon Valley Bank and the depositors from this period of, of, of great uncertainty. Um, but what I'd like to see happen right now is a real thorough investigation. I think we're going to need congressional hearings where bank managers are asked tough questions and can answer to the American public for the mistakes they've made. And I'd like to include regulators in that as well. Uh, this system did not work as intended. And part of that blame should fall on regulators as well for being asleep at the wheel and not being able uh, to, to see this before it actually happened. Congressman Josh Harder, good to see you again. Thanks very much.